If you've hit play on this video, you're probably feeling a little frustrated about some sort of access issue that you're having in one of your Google Workspace apps, for example, Google Sheets, Docs, Slides, or Forms. There's a couple of reasons why there are access issues that occur and perhaps runtime issues, particularly with dialog boxes and sidebars that occur. And we're going to run through a couple examples of this here in this video. I'll be using Google Sheets for an example. However, this also applies to Google Docs, Google Slides and Google Forms. Let's dive into the example that we want. So I've managed to open up this Google Sheet here and I'm going to go up and click on Manage and Unhandled Dialog. Okay, all this is is a custom made dialog bar that perhaps your developers made for you that you're filling out a few things or it might display some information that is specifically for you. And you go ahead and put in your name and click a button. Now the result of clicking this button, you will see on the bottom right hand side here, a little toast dialog appear. So let's go ahead and click that. Success, Kogyagi enters the machine. Fantastic. Okay, so that's the successful test. Let's look at some errors. Let's say I'm the owner and developer of this spreadsheet with a little bit of Google Apps Script magic in the background that produces a dialog box. I go ahead and share this Google Sheet with my tester. Now this is in our editor section. We'll go over to our tester account and just keep note of these five characters here, just so you have a reference and we'll head over now. And you can see that it's the same URL, but we've got this you need access issue here, which is very strange. So what's going on? So up in our tester account, we can see we have tester at yagisanatoday.com. And we know that we shared this at tester at yagisanatoday.com. But if you look down here, we've got yagisanatoday at gmail.com. So we're in the wrong account. So how do we resolve this? Well, we can click on this here and click on the correct account here. And now we have access. So if we go up to manage unhandled dialogue and we type in tester, submit O dark lord, we can see cog tester has entered the machine. Success, we resolved this problem. Okay, so in this situation, we were logged into a different account than our actual Chrome account. So we had a bit of disparity between these two here. Let's look at another scenario. Okay, so here we are in this example here. We have access to our account no problem. Let's go over to manage here and click on our unhandled dialog. Here we've been asked to authorize our script, which is a little strange, but that's okay. We've been told how to do this already. So we're going to click OK, go to advanced and Chrome and click continue and hit allow. Okay, so let's go up to manage now and unhandle dialog and click on tester and type in our name into the great machine, submitting O Dark Lord. Okay. If you notice down the bottom right, nothing happened. If I click it again, nothing happened. So what's going on? Let's hit uh, F12 to get into our developer tools. As you can see down the bottom here, we've got an uncaught error. Now we're not sure if this is related to this submission because we didn't see it happen live. But if we clear this out here, we can go back in and hit submit o.log again. And we can clearly see that uncaught error has occurred. Now, you might be running in a different browser, which is fine. For example, you might be running a Safari or Mozilla or Brave, uh, but quite often the shortcut is similar, or you can access your developer tools by going up somewhere around the top right or top left and scrolling down until you find your developer tools. For us, we scroll down to more tools and click on developer tools here. There's similar icons to clear and access your console and hit submit and watch the error occur again. So what's causing this problem? Well. You can see already we might have two accounts that are different at the moment. So at the top here, we have our tester at Yagi-san Atoday account. And then here we have our Yagi-san Atoday at Gmail account. So there's a bit of disparity with, with what's happening in Chrome and then what's happening in our Google Sheet. So if we go back to the owner's page, my page, and we have a look at share, you can see that yagisan at today at gmail.com has editor access, but tester at yagisan at today.com does not. So to open and access this Google Sheet, we are using this account. However, when we are sending this data back to the server side Google Apps script with tester, it's actually trying to run from the browser up the top here. And because the browser top here doesn't have access, is causing an error. 
So if you are experiencing this error and this is the correct account for you, then it's better that you go and enter inside this account and not inside this account here. And I'll explain how to do that in a moment. So another similar situation might occur like this. So let's go have a look. In this example, you can also see that we have our tester account as our Chrome login. And then for this app, this Google Sheets app, we have our Yagi-san at a Gmail account. So we know it's gonna cause some issues, but this is a slightly different issue here. Let's go unhandle again and type in tester and hit submit O to Arclord. Again, we're not experiencing the error. So let's hit 12 to get into our developer tools. Let's clear it out and hit submit again. And here we have uncaught again, but we have a bit more information. We have uncaught at get form input. So what's going on here? In this example, it seems that the submit o dart log, so this tester value has reached the server side Google app script. However, the account on the server side doesn't have all the permissions available for you to run the script. Why is this occurring? Well, let's go back to the owners page and hit share. And you can see the tester only has view access while Yagi-san at today at gmail.com has editor access. So this is causing a conflict problem again. Okay, so let's look at another similar example. In this strange example, I'm now in my tester account. However, in my Yagi-san Atade account, I only have view access. What's going on? Well, maybe the owner had only provided access to me as an editor in my tester account. So I can't access things here because they've only given us view access. Let's have a look at the owner's shared dialogue and go back to share again. And you can see that the tester account has editor access and Yagi-san Atade.com has Gmail access. So as a user, you need to think, which of these accounts should I be using as an editor here and log into the appropriate one? Okay, so let's look at another course. Okay, so here we are in this example. It looks like we've got editor access here. However, we know from the scenarios before that we have some mixed accounts going on. Let's see what happens if we try and run our manage unhandled dialogue here. This time around, we are going to put in tester again and hit submit and nothing happens. So what's going on here? There's no information or clue as to what's happening except for us vigilantly seeing that we have two different accounts open, one in Chrome, and one in our app. So when the form in the dialog is submitted, it is being submitted from this Chrome account here, but it is being read in Google Apps Scripts in this Yagi-san Atade account. So it's causing a conflict in which account is being used at the same time. So both your Chrome and your app account need to be the same. Now, if you're running in other browsers like Safari or Mozilla, you might also find similar issues when you have multiple accounts at the same time are all signed in. Now, similarly, if you have a dialog box here where you're struggling to submit or there's some data or information you expect to see and it's coming from a different location than you suppose, it's also probably an issue of having a disparity between your Chrome account and your app account. So how do we go about resolving this? If you're using Chrome, the best approach is for you to have managed accounts. What are managed accounts? So head up to your Chrome browser here and you can see that you've got these other profiles I've listed here. And you can see, even in this example that I've shown, this green browser background is its own special case of the Tesla at Yagi-san Atade account. Now, if I flip back to my owner's account, this window is its own browser instance of the Scott at Yagi-san Atade account. So the best way to handle for all of these issues is to use this profile manager. To create a profile, all you need to do is click on add here, and then you can sign into your new account. Follow the instructions to sign in, and then you'll see the new account appearing along here. And then you can flip between the two accounts as you go. Now, because I have Scott at Yagi-san Atade already open, if I click on that, it'll flip me back to there easily and this should resolve those issues. Now, having said that too, it's also a good idea to ensure that you're signed out of your other accounts. So here I've got an account that I had previously opened here. I can remove that account, which is great. It's no longer visible to my tester at Yagi-san Atade account. Dark temptation. Now, another solution is to sign out of all your accounts and only sign into one account. And this is useful for other browsers like Safari or Edge or Mozilla. So to do that, you're going to go into your app. So it could be in Gmail, it could be in Google Sheets, Docs or Slides. And then you're going to click on your profile, head down. And unfortunately, it is a bit of a blazed earth approach Google has here. And you have to sign out of all of your accounts at once. 
because I have two accounts open here, we need to sign out of all of them instead of just clicking one to sign out. So I'll click out here and sign out of all accounts. And then I'm going to have to go ahead and sign back in again. Now, because I'm in Chrome, it's also paused and signed me out of my browser, which is very strange and frustrating. So once signed out and logged back in, I can see that I only have one account here, my tester account, and I can see I have this account here. Now, also, there's this tempting Yagi Sun Atade at Gmail account here that I could possibly sign into again, but fight temptation and just click remove so you don't get to see it again in this particular browser instance and rely on your managed browser profiles to access those other accounts. Now, another alternative for you, and it might help you with testing, is to go incognito. What is that, you ask? Well, up over here, it allows you to have a anonymous experience on your browser. So let's click on the new incognito window here, and other browsers have similar uh, ways of handling for this. And we're going to hit Control V to paste it in, and it's going to prompt us to log in. So we will log in. And then from your incognito window, you shouldn't have any problems running the script. So let's go ahead and hit uh, Tester, see how everything works. And you can see the deal, little dialog appears here. Now this can be somewhat handy, but do keep in mind that perhaps your developers are using cookies to hold a bunch of data inside the dialog for you to easily access. And if that is the case, then it might be blocked in incognito mode as default. But to unblock this, just click the little eye up the top here and uh, then toggle third party cookies so it can be run. This will refresh the page and then you should be able to run everything well. Now, once you close incognito mode, it will sign you out of this account in this particular instance of the Chrome browser. So not a great permanent approach. Now, if none of these options match your specific problem, it may be something related to the dialogue and it could be an error. However, the good news is you've spent the time troubleshooting. So if you contact your IT department or your developer, you'll have a bit more information to share with them so they can more easily help you with this problem. Now, please let me know if this solved your issue in the comments below, or if you think you have another issue related to sign-ins that is causing your dialogues or sidebars to not work. Now, if you want a more comprehensive and searchable way of troubleshooting this in future, I have a written tutorial that accompanies this video, which you can find in the link in the description below. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe. Until next time.